So if you're anything like me, you hate unqualified leads who are just wasting your time. And most people either struggle with getting leads or getting qualified leads. Because once you actually start getting leads, what you'll notice is that it's very hard to get the good type of leads. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in this video, because we have a very, very simple yet intricate system that you can literally copy paste. And from now on, after today, you will only get qualified people in through your funnel, into your ecosystem, it doesn't matter. So it all starts in the opt-in page, whether it's a funnel, whether it's a VSL, whether it's a lead magnet, it doesn't matter. All you're doing is writing down qualification questions, right? And you're assigning points according to that, right? So in this case, we're helping clinic owners. So we have two types of qualification. We have their offer, uh, where they're currently at, and we have their current monthly revenue, right? And when we mix and match these two, we give them a quality ranking. Now, uh, I will say this is inspired by Ravi, so uh, I do, you know, take credit from that um, for this section here. So basically, you're gonna have to write a couple of questions, right? So it, it depends on what you wanna do, right? So you can fully customize this scoring system, and then, you just add it on to your opt-in page. And then what happens is people will get a score according to their qualifications, right? So for example, if it's a clinic owner not doing telemedicine, but they have this or any of these monthly recurring revenues, then they're a two. If they're a clinic owner doing telemedicine, but they have low revenue, they're still a two. If they're a clinic owner doing telemedicine, but they have higher revenues, then there are three and four. And this is how we rank um, our prospects, our leads, right? Now, what's really cool about this is that you can develop this inside of high level. And essentially how it works is all you're gonna do is create a form or a survey with your questions, right? And this is how you're gonna be getting the actual ranking, right? So. Uh, you're going to build an automation. The trigger is going to be a new um, booked call inside of the calendar. And then after that, we're going to be adding the conditions. The conditions is where you're going to be separating all of these. As you can see, there is um, different columns for all of these. You have unqualified, you have twos, you have threes, you have fours, right? All you're doing is writing down the question, right? So first, unqualified which best describes you. So you're adding the question that you originally asked here, and then you're just writing the answer, right? Um, so basically you're using conditions, right? Uh, with the revenue uh, accompanied with their offer vertical, and according to all of this, it's going to pretty much split them into different categories. And that's where we can do different things according to it, okay? So the first thing that we do is we update their name. So in opportunity name, we add contact name dash their number, right? So for here, for example, we have a two here, for example, we have three here, for example, we have four. And this automatically shows us the pipeline and what type of quality of leads we have there. Then we just send our notification onto Slack, not needed, but we like to see it. And this is also another important part, right? So inside of this booked appointment scoring system, we have a data sheet right here. You can see that there's uh, some test data here, just so you guys know kind of what it should look like. And then all we're adding onto the spreadsheet is the name with a number, with the, with the number associated to their quality score, their email, phone number, and the appointment date and time, okay? And this is where we can take it in a step even further, where we can use Zapier to collect that information from Google Sheets, right? So it collects it from the spreadsheet, from that worksheet, any column, and it collects it. And then you're going to find that event inside of the Google Calendar. So for example, this is an old uh, one that we had, but essentially you're gonna find the event, right? Um, right now there's, there's no account linked, but you're gonna find the event based on the email or the phone number. It doesn't matter, right? It depends on, on what you have inside of the booking link. 
For example, for us, when somebody books in a call, we like to include their email, their name, their phone number in the description of that uh, Google Calendar invite. That way we can easily find it. So we have a uh, response, which is find event and then update event. So we update the event and we change the name again. So this time, when you open up your calendar, your setter's calendar, your closer's calendar, it doesn't matter. You will see name, dash, and then a number. And that number is going to pretty much show you, okay, today, for example, I have a full day of twos, right? And you can make really critical decisions based on that. So if you have a full day of twos, for example, you can open up your calendar and allow double bookings, right? So when we started running this test, the data that we got, the feedback that we got was that twos usually had a 50% show up rate, right? So if we had a full day of twos, we would double book people. So we would have two bookings under the same slot. Um, they were both twos and the likelihood of one of them joining uh, would be 100% then according to statistics, right? And that's where you play around with statistics, which means that if we have a full day of twos and we allow double bookings, we'll get the same amount of sales as if we had uh, all threes and no double bookings, right? So now it starts to make a little bit more sense because you can make decisions according to that. And what we did after that was we started seeing where our um, best leads came from, right? So we started noticing, okay, if we start promoting a lot more here or a lot more there and, you know, um, using different things like parameters and just tracking sheets and, and all of that, we started noticing, okay, this is where the best leads come from. This is where the worst leads come from. And from there we can make better decisions. So yeah, this is pretty much just an example of something you can implement relatively quickly, probably within the hour. And it'll absolutely change the entire dynamic of your business, whether you're a coach, consultant or agency owner, it doesn't matter or any other business, right? And you can integrate this into a lead system, lead magnets, anything. Really, this is just an example of me doing it with booked calls. Now, if you want the exact snapshot of the system, I do actually give it out inside of this program. Um, essentially, we're about to raise the price. Um, it's currently $49. And what you get for this is actually insane. So let me show you. You get a free high level account. You get an AI booking bot that does it through SMS, IG, Facebook, whatever. And you get an AI calling agent, literally a fully built AI, which you can have a listen to here. There's a, a live example of it closing a deal. So you can have a listen to that. You also get 3000 coaching calls per year, including with myself, unlimited leads, um, ways to get unlimited leads, extremely high converting funnels, literally the funnels that I'm currently using, just so you guys kind of understand. And uh, for a limited amount of time, I'm giving a free one on one for the next few people that join. So you literally have no risk. We have a money back guarantee for 48 hours and you can check all of our testimonials. We have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of testimonials. So have a look at them and I'll see you inside of the program. We have tons of different automations just like this one.